Okay, folks, the Voodoo Rim X CZ455 or 457 Bagar B14R. These are the top four rifles for the NRL and PRS 22. They could get pretty pricey. Which one should you pick? Well, that's a pretty hard question to debate about, but those who have been following my channel have seen me pretty much work with all four of these platforms. And in this video, I'm gonna give you guys my experience, my opinion, and uh, basically go over some food for thought if you're trying to pick one for NRL 22. Stick around, stay tuned. You guys will like this one. So, each one of these rifles can pretty much offer a benefit and each one of these rifles have a caveat. The best thing for the 22, and a lot of what a lot of folks go for for a 22 is picking one for a junior shooter. So I've got my son here and he's pretty much gonna give you guys an opinion about which one he likes, preferred, uh, about all four of these platforms. Like I said, each one of these I've pretty much thoroughly uh, built a custom rifle out of. Um, the Voodoo, this, this is the last one I just built today which I'm gonna test down here at 50 yards. And every single one of these are coherently accurate. Now, the only one that is very, very close to being stock is my personal Bagar B14R, which is sporting the 18 inch carbon fiber uh, barrel. Um, obviously, if you guys have been watching the, the whole series, I've upgraded this whole Bagar, uh, faced off the action, squared up the action, uh, rebuilt the tenon, uh, rechambered it and everything. And obviously did a lot of work on the bolt to make this thing as smooth as it is. So let's go take uh, each one of these at 50 yards uh, downrange, see what kind of accuracy we have, making sure these things are all zeroed out. Okay, so here's all the groups from all four rifles. Now we shot the Voodoo first. First shot out of the Voodoo, because we're sighting down one in, was down here. And then I went and adjusted the scope as best I possibly can. Shot a five shot group with SK rifle there. So had one drop low. This was the second shot and then the rest of it cluster there. And then we shot uh, SK again. So here's SK rifle. There's a group size on that. SK rifle again. And that one, I got it zeroed out. And then I shot uh, Ely 10X and Ely 10X Put in one ragged hole, a little bit of um, horizontal stringing. Now, I did not season a bore, I just went straight to the groups. And then shot another five shot with Ely 10X and put one ragged hole there. So, pretty happy with the performance of the Voodoo. So then we brought out the Rim X. Rim X being the contender for the Voodoo. Uh, shooting SK rifle, um, not the best. Had some vertical stringing there. No cold bore shift, everything was, the first two shots were right here and the rest of them kind of just walked up a little bit. And shot SK rifle again, and then SK rifle again. There was like four in that one hole in the bottom right there, and then one up there. So <laughs> definitely tack driving. Then we switched over to Ely 10X, and that's the group there for Ely 10X, and it's definitely uh, tuned for that ammo. That's exactly where point of aim, point of impact, and the same thing here, point of aim, point of impact. Had four on the left side. Uh, the first shot was actually here. I definitely could tell I pulled that one a little bit. So that was shooter error. The rest of it would have all been in that one hole. So you could definitely see that that Rim X is a complete hammer. And then we shot basically my Bagara. Now my Bagara B14 is pretty much the cheapest uh, rifle out here. Um, and shooting SK rifle on all of these groups. No cold bore shift at all. This was all five shots in that one. Now, I'm having a weird situation. I think that scope isn't tracking. Every time I try to adjust it, it just doesn't adjust correctly. But I did another five shots here. Had one outlier, the rest of it all in one hole. Then another five shots here. And that is one ragged hole with the Bagar. So you can see that the performance is keeping on par and basically the same as the, as the Voodoo's and the Remax. And did the last five shots aiming bottom of here, trying to get that scope zeroed. And that's the group there. So, last but not least, the CZ. Now, the first five shots, uh, I think I could contribute to me. Um, that rifle is pretty light, and the chassis is not the best, in my opinion. The LSS chassis for the CZ 455 is not a good option for competition. I could definitely see myself wobbling quite a bit. So, 
the groups you can see contributed here, um, that's me. But the next five shot groups uh, were pretty amazing. So that's the one holer, his shot next, the next five, and then the last five right here. So you can see that that CZ455 is doing extremely well. Comparing all of those with all other three, so the CZs versus all other three, you can see that every single one of them pretty much one hole tack drives. So which one shoots the best? Well, I would say that that um, Rim X so far has the most consistent tight, tightest groups. And I think the tuner really helps out with that along with a 26 inch barrel, but they pretty much all shoot one ragged hole. Okay, so my son's gonna shoot all four of these rifles and then I'm gonna get his opinion. So let me see how you put that mag in. See if you know how to, if you remember. Nope. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta check the ways. Yep. So, so he's seven years old and there you go just found out how to seat the mag so I'm not even showing him or telling him how to how to work the mag I'm just gonna let him figure it out and see if he struggles or not so we're at a KYL rack at 50 yards uh oh nope so the round jumped forward on that one so even the same thing with the CZ 455 so if you manipulate it pretty slow that's what happens so remember this is a bolt gun it's a tool so work it like a tool There we go. Okay, go to the next one. So, is that one pretty easy to manipulate? Yep. The bolt and everything, pretty pretty easy to lock down and everything, huh? Yeah. It's kind of smooth, but not really sometimes. Yeah. Good. Second. No, that was that was that second one. Yeah. Okay, go to the third one. Let me see, you hit the third one. No, actually, that was the first one. Yeah, go to the second one on the right. Good Ooh. job. Okay, go to the third one. See, I don't know. That third one's gonna be hard for me. <laughs> no, you gotta get used to it. If you get clear the KYL rack, you're good. Oh, I see the small one. Ooh. You got it. No way. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now you know where it is. You need to hold the rifle sometimes. Yep. So this one, what do you think about the mag? How it feel? How's it feel feeding it in? Pretty easy? Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yep. That's why this I like rifle? the yep. pretty smooth. Alright. It's pretty clear scope. Yep. Athlon BTR Helos. Got it. Oh god. Alright. Yeah. So, with all that work done in the Bagar, it seems like you're operating this thing pretty easy. What do you think of the Bagar? Pretty good. Okay, let's see. If Another got, second. Got the second one, get the third one. I'm gonna see if I can get it. I think we found the rifle for you. Yep. <laughs> you got it. I got You got the fourth one. Go to the quarter inch. How many times you can hit the quarter inch? Got it. Okay. One. Do it again. It's one. Two. Two. <laughs> I think this is going to be your rifle. Three. Oh. No, you just missed that one. You jerked the trigger on that one, I, I can tell. There we go. Four. Make sure you got a clean break on the trigger. You're hitting it. I was, it's not spinning. You're barely hitting it. Okay. You got it. Three times? <laughs> you got at least six. Six. six times. Yeah, you go again. So you're making that quarter inch look very, very easy at 50 yards. Seven. Seven. There's no more. Okay, so 
Chick Little's gonna try out the Remex next. So I got 10 rounds loaded up on the mag. Go ahead and put the mag in. See what you think about this. You sure clicks? Yep. There we go. All right, let's see how you manipulate this one. Wow, oh, it's so smooth. All right. So it seems like it's smoother for him to manipulate the bolt. Now this is the same exact chamber as the uh, Voodoo there. Oh, you see the see the crosshair. Right? First try. <laughs> okay, go ahead and manipulate. Go ahead, get the next one. So he is uh, operating this thing a lot smoother than the Voodoo. Second try. That was the third target. Go go to the go to the second target. Uh oh, nope, he caused a malfunction. Huh? So, you can see there, he did not pull back on the bolt hard enough. And it caused a round to go into the uh, chamber there. So, so, when you pull back, make sure you pull back, give it a good little snap. So, there's a caveat to the Remax. So, you can't, can't be soft with these actions. You got to... Gotta work it like it's a tool, because it is a tool. There we go. I'm gonna go to the really last target. Okay, go to the quarter inch. Oh, did it nope. snap back? Oh. Pull down. There you go. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> you got the quarter inch. So. I'm gonna see if I can get, get, get it again. Time. Get it again. Second try! You got it. <laughs> Second try! Do you have any more? Yep, keep going for it. Which ones are your favorite since now you shot all four? I would say Remex, CZ, and the Vergara. And the Vergara. So you like the Remex the best? You no, know, not yet because this well, is the rightful of the champion. This one, <laughs> this one's pretty good. Yeah, but which one's your favorite? This one. You like the Vergara? Yes, the Vergara is super good. Okay, what's your second favorite? Second favorite is yep. our CZ. CZ, okay. Third is Remex. The Remex. And then what about the Voodoo? <laughs> well, the Voodoo's last, huh? Yeah. You don't really like the Voodoo? Yeah, well, it's kind of hard. <laughs> the Voodoo is pretty good, though, I think. Yeah. It is a really strong rifle. Well, he's the judge, fellas. So you can see he likes the Begara. That's what I'm running for this season, this Begara right here. And I think this is going to suit him very well. The thing only weighs nine pounds, so it's a, it's extremely light for for a PRS rifle. Now go ahead and pick that up. Let me see you pick that thing up. This and is a piece of cake. Woo! Yeah. Try, or hold hold it out. Let me see how you aim it. Let me see how you aim that thing. So you can hold it out pretty easy, huh? Yep. All right. Go get the Remax. The put, Remax? Yeah. Put that one down. <laughs> that thing's clear. Okay. So let me see you hold that one up. This one's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Just try I it. I can't barely. You can't hold it up? You know. Let me see. Let me try to help you. This one. All right. Yeah. Okay. No, put that on your shoulder. Nope. Put your arm out there. Can you hold it? No. <laughs> I can't. I'm struggling. <laughs> okay. So you can't hold this one. Can you get the CZ? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you hold the CZ out? You ready? It's strong. Can you hold it up? Hold it up. No, I can't. You can't hold it up? Nope, this one's heavy too. That one's heavy too, huh? It's not oh. really. So even the CZ is too heavy. And of course the Voodoo. I can kind of carry that one. Voodoo's got the biggest barrel, so we're going to say he won't be able to hold that one up either. <laughs> okay, folks, so here you have it. Got Chick a little. He is lucky to have put hands on pretty much the best 22 rifles, uh, rimfire rifles that are out Begara. in the market. And yep, he says the Begara is his choice. So, you know, we went over pretty much everything about him. You know, you can see that every single one of these shoot very well. Um, everybody has their preference on the rifle. And honestly, the best choice for NRL 22 is the one you feel the most comfortable behind. And accuracy is all there. I mean, you could pretty much make every single one of these accurate. The rifle is only a tool and you pretty much have to do due diligence of lot testing your ammo. Now, every one of these rifles could be less picky, obviously with a better barrel. That's kind of where I come into play. Um, with all the rifle builds I've been doing, I've been able to make these things pretty much accurate. And what I mean by accurate is that they are less picky on the ammo. So pretty much anything I throw at it tends to shoot pretty well. 
obviously there are lots of ammo that have high SDs and all of that. But um, from the experience that you've seen today, um, like I said, everybody has their preference. I personally like the Bagar B14R out of all of them. Um, that's just my preference. Uh, something about them, uh, about the system, I just it works very well. I'm I'm kind of a, a tinkerer, so to say. As yeah, I'm pretty much a, a tinker, as you guys could tell. I love to uh, make things better and shoot well, and the Bagara kind of suits my need. Um, and the way I have it set up on the HNT 26 chassis is just a perfect choice for the Bagara B14R. Now the Rimex would be my second choice. Um, obviously, I don't even own my own Rimex, as you guys could tell. I pretty much, er, yeah, pretty much, I'm working on trying to get one for myself. But the Rim X is an extremely accurate, uh, extremely reliable system as well. Just a very pricey system, and they're pretty hard to get a hold of as of right now. Um, the CZ would be my third favorite, personally for me. Um, the way it's set up on this configuration with the LSS chassis, uh, that chassis needs to go. That's not a good choice for for me, in my opinion. It's a, very wobbly system. I think an MPA chassis would be very uh, be a good choice, or the MDT XRS, or the ACC chassis with the the hood on it. And then honestly, the Voodoo is last. <laughs> so, so the Voodoo the Voodoo is going to be my last choice uh, for picking. Um, and that's just me. There's a lot of guys out there. Obviously, uh, Chris Sims winning NRL championship with the Voodoo. Um, I just I've seen too many problems with the Voodoos. I just personally don't think it's it's worth the cost you know, 1650 plus dollars for a barreled action thirty five hundred dollars plus for uh, a complete rifle uh, with all the caveats obviously you could tell that i could get these voodoos to work and run flawless and also be extremely accurate but if we are basically talking about purchasing a voodoo from the manufacturer it is pretty much like rolling a dice i mean you're going to get hit and miss from what i could tell you're taking a chance um, with that system to get it accurate and get it reliable. You pretty much have to pair it up with a chassis that has either an adjustable mag catch system or either do some modifications to the mag, like add a Ely follower, put tape around it or felt just to make it stiffer. Uh, those are the caveats. You could all obviously buy the L3i, uh, the, the Zero Sucks mag, which works very well for the Voodoo. And, you know, that will be that. But... My question would be, how come the Bragara B14R, which is a quarter of the cost, is a hell of a lot more reliable <laughs> than a system that costs about four times or three times the amount? Well, anyways, that's just my opinion, folks. Um, you know, uh, I'm not here to start a debate or say what's better, what's what. Everybody has their own opinion, like I said. So I like every single one of these. Um, I personally have my own picks and what I'm using for... The season is the Bagar. Well, comment below, folks. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are running for the season. What is your choice? And tell me why. As always, y'all stay safe. And thanks for watching. Say bye. Bye. Okay, Bagar, 177 yards, 4-inch plate. Doing a little bit of practice here. My stadium is all wet. So mm. Stand hard. It's mm. raining quite a bit here. It's raining a lot. Ooh, that's a first try hit. First round impact. Okay. Another hit. Second try impact. Another hit. Third try impact. Better get a double tap here. <laughs> Two. I'm gonna try this offhand. Try offhand. Okay. 177 yards, four inch. Mm. Oh, just hit the pole. Ooh. Ugh. Got it. 100 yards? Which one are you aiming at? The big one. The big one? Yep. KYL? Yep. Got it. 
Got it. Okay, go to the next one. I'm going for the little one. No, go for the next one, right? No need. You got used to the KYL. Okay, okay. Go to the third one. You like the Bagara? Yes, it's the best gun in the world. 